just a cold morning today. We have nine degrees in Annandale. Silver Spring coming in at 12. Laurel coming in at seven degrees right now. And it's I feel pretty confident we're gonna do pretty well with something I've been working on here. Uh, doing a little bit of tinkering in my basement. It, actually in the garage with this little shake it head uh, made with a do it mold. I actually flattened that out when I trimmed the the pour spout I kind of made that flat intentionally instead of cutting it just cutting that spout off what I want to do is put it at a little bit of an angle and I'm just gonna make a flat you can see where that's that's started there I've already started to make it flat I'm gonna come at it from a different angle and this this one, I mean, it's going to trim some weight off, so you're not going to end up really with an eighth. It's going to be something less, less than that. The idea for that is that it's just going to stand up when it when it you know hits the bottom of the, the river or wherever I'm fishing. So this is a a little finesse worm. I think it's actually for drop shotting, but I think it's I've played around with it in the sink with some water, and I poured these with floating soft plastic. I'll just go ahead and screw that on there, give it a shot. I'm out in my workshop in the garage and I'm going to show you how to make the uh, the shake it head and in a little while we'll go over and we'll shoot some of those worms. Um, I'll start with the mold. This is it. It's the, the do it shake it jig. Shaky head type mold and you got 16th up through 3 8 I was mostly using the 8th and I found with some of the hooks I had to on the 3 16th and quarter I actually used my Dremel tool here and I had to make those you know those spots for the, the hook eyes a little bit bigger so you lay your hook in there and that's one good option uh, here's here's another one I forget what exactly that is but that's the one I used for the most part and these are actually not what the mold calls for. These are the small hitchin posts from Do It. It calls for these, <clears throat> these little screw locks. Now, when I did that, it ended up with this right here, which will work, but for such a small diameter worm, that that diameter of screw was kind of big, like it was it was tearing it apart. So, this is just a tighter you know, a tighter screw so that when you screw that onto the head it doesn't rip it apart. So use the small hitching post. And you gotta mess with it a little bit just to get it to fit in there, just so. But, um, you know, you, you'll play around with it. You'll, you'll figure it out. Get that little screw in there. There it is. Alright, we'll close that sucker up. pour it and that's what you end up with now I've done something sort of interesting when I when I trim it I use my uh, my little nail cutters there um, I'm not gonna cut it so it's it's round like that I'm gonna try to cut it at an angle so it's flat and it'll stand up a little bit better so that along with the fact that these little worms are are floating and you know it's it's going to want to orient straight up and wiggle that little tail those together really creates a very nice vertical presentation up off the bottom all right let's go over to the other part of the shop we're going to shoot some of these worms now all right what i used is some real dark dark green and i actually used this stuff this uh super floater bubbles and it's kind of like a powder you mix that in I'll go ahead and open this up and 
show you this really dark one that we did. And I'll show you the mold. You get the molds at Do It Soft Baits and this particular one shoots four of them. You just kind of pinch off that that worm there. There it is. You crank out four of them at a time with this mold. Love all those ridges. Nice looking finesse. Finesse bait with that paddle tail. Real nice action. Great for drop shotting too, I bet. I haven't done it yet, but uh, I bet that's going to be real good for a drop shot. That's a nice one right there. He's just over, he's 20 and a quarter inches. I'm gonna get a weight on him here in a second. Um, we're up at the top of this eddy. You know, we have a, a nice winter pool below us where we've been catching a lot of these little fish, but a fish that big has to eat a lot. And uh, this was definitely, I mean, this isn't currentless water. There's a lot of current swallow, you know, swirling around in there. And a fish that big does have to eat a lot in winter. Look how deep he took that, that tiny little worm. Dude had to eat. I'm gonna pop this out. And just such a good sticky little hook. Yep. And I'm sure that floating straight up, tail up presentation really got his attention. So sticky hook, nice action on the bait. Big fish, let me get a weight on him. All right, nice four pounds, seven ounce, 20 and a quarter inch largemouth on a day where we're scarcely over freezing. Uh, that's because of spring influence. So we'll go ahead and let this, this fat fish go. Nice big one. 